Dave. How do you go, neighbor? Dave, the family farmer here. I am just drilling some holes in the cover here. We put that down. Throw that on the cable there. Uh, making myself a new worm, not night crawler, worm bed. Uh, yeah. So I already have holes drilled on the side, on the bottom. Let me set that down. I didn't feel like doing this down the basement. But anyways, what I have in here is I have some peat moss and a little bit, not a whole lot, a couple of handfuls of dried cow manure. Uh, because uh, we're talking two different creatures here. I mean, they're both worms, night crawlers and regular garden worms. But garden worms, if you ever notice, if you're looking for night crawlers at night, you ever see a garden worm? No, you don't. You know why? Because they always live underneath the soil. They eat underneath the soil. They, as they're digging or sliding through the soil, dirt, whatever you want to call it, they are eating that, munching that up and, of course, pooping it out. So they're going up down, across, sideways, and they're all over the place. Garden worms in your soil are one of the best things you can have in your garden. Yes, number one, they aerate the soil for your plant's roots. They poop in your soil. Uh, worm castings, poop, same word, same meaning too. Uh, and they do rather well. And if you got worms, regular garden worms in your garden, you are doing something correct. Okay, so went downstairs. Two months ago, I started this project because a friend of mine, he has some Oscars, and he's got four Oscars in this big hundred gallon tank. And, uh, Night crawlers were too big because they're only this big. Um, they're three inches, maybe four inches long. Night crawlers are too big for them to eat. And he wanted them to eat a more natural diet. So, and he really didn't like the red winter idea and all that crap. I said, well, feed them garden worms. They're a little bit smaller. They can eat the whole thing. So, I said, well, we'll get a garden worm bucket for you, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So we made up each a bucket, and of course, I got some leaves here, and of course, some twigs. I'm going to rip these up, and uh, his worms... His garden worms are doing great. Hopefully so are mine. I haven't, uh, I've been feeding them. I haven't really looked in here, but I know they need a new home. I'm crunching this up for them to eat. Because they like to burrow, travel, and so on. Okay, so anyways, That should be good. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Pull up my sleeve. And I'm going to take a little bit at a time. See, there's still some leaves in there. I'm going to add some of this dirt in here. Then I'm going to mix this in with this, with my peat moss. Oh, 
So if my findings are out correctly, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna break this up some. These worms will be buried down deep in this. I, I'm putting a, uh, the peat moss in here. It's the fluff of that soil off a little bit better than what it is. It's nice and moist. See the breeding in here. I can see that already. They are breeding, definitely breeding. Uh, I know for certain I did not put in garden worms this small. We are uh, smaller ones here. Look at that. How did I find that? Can you see that little one? Look at the size of that one. So they're definitely breeding. See, here's the uh, older ones. And of course, my babies. Dirt. So I definitely got. Uh, we got breeding worms in here. Oh yeah. Yes, we do. Definitely got breeding worms in here. Yes, yeah, all different sizes too. Yeah. Look at that. These for his Oscars are just perfect for his fish. And he wanted to. Actually, the worms are excellent for his fish. There. Now my worms have a new home. I'm going to put in some. Put a layer of. Uh, I'm going to crank up some more leaves and I'm going to put in a, over that I'm going to put a layer of a straw and uh, that'll keep this soil nice and moist. Now these worms will really, now they got enough room, they're definitely breeding. Yes. Holy cow, I can't believe how I saw that little, little son of a gun in there. Yes. Boy, they're nice and lively, too. Alrighty. I'm uh, very proud of this. Trouble is, I think they breed slow. So, you're going to have to need a heck of a lot more. You know, you've got different sized smaller ones. They're a little bit bigger in between. So I have uh, a nice overall population of worms here. Garden worms. I should use that term, garden worms. Okay. Hey, 
you want to see some more interesting stuff like this, check me out on YouTube, Dave Stumps, the Family Farmer, and uh, happy with your worms, I'm happy with mine. Hey, you want to try something for your fish? Right here it is. Perfect size. I don't care what kind of fish you're breeding or growing. Worms are all are an all natural food for your fish. Hey, you all take care. Bye bye then.